The last hint I want to show you is what do you do when you want to try to get rid of a negative sign that's next to my X, right? So just a negative sign, not a negative number, just a negative sign. Well, it's the same thing I told you before. So if you ever get to a step where you have something like this, negative X equals three, right? That's not your answer. You don't want negative X. You want X. But it's like, remember, when there's not a number there, there's really a one there. And so this is really negative one X equals three. So how do you get rid of that negative one? Well, it's multiplying the X. So you divide both sides by negative one. So if you divide both sides by negative one, what will happen? Okay. Well, negative one divided by negative one cancels out the negative one. And negative three or three divided by negative one is just negative three. So your final answer will be X equals negative three. So what happens when you have a negative sign like that? So it originally was like this, negative X equals three, right? Well, the answer is just basically the opposite of that on both sides. You turn the X into positive and you flip the sign of the other side. Because, but you do that by dividing by negative one on both sides. And all that does is it changes the signs of both sides, right? So that is the last hint. And our next video, we're going to do a challenge problem that combines all of these hints and reviews everything we've learned about the two-step equations, just like I did in class on this week. And hopefully that will help clarify everything we've learned so far. See you then.